Okay, so we have the second Red Scare coming about. Um, the trials of both Alger Hiss and um, the Rosenbergs, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, are going to cause many Americans to fear that communist spies held, um, doc, um, held important positions in the federal government. Hiss is accused of passing secret documents to the Soviets during the late 1930s. And although Hiss claimed his innocence, he was convicted of perjury, which is lying under oath. We'll talk about that end when we get to Bill Clinton. Um, and many Americans believe of treason. In the 1950s, the United States learned that Aspiring had sent technical secrets to the Soviets, um, which had allowed them to develop their atomic program much more quickly. Um, and this information led to the arrest of Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, the Rosenbergs who had gained information about the United States atomic project. So in 1951, after a long and widely publicized trial, the Rosenbergs are convicted of espionage, and they'll be put to death in 1953. All right, so American co fears of communism in the early 50s are huge, right? It's widespread. Being accused of being a communist could ruin your life. Um, senator Joseph McCarthy, a Republican senator from Wisconsin, is going to take advantage of this, this atmosphere to advance his political career. McCarthy plays on American fears of communism by recklessly accusing many American governmental officials and citizens of being communists. Um, he based these charges on flimsy, which is very weak evidence, or no evidence at all. McCarthy's rapid rise to power led to the coining of the term McCarthyism, or unfairly accusing others of disloyalty, especially of pro-communist communist activity, without convincing proof or, proof or even solid evidence. American culture continues to use the term McCarthyism to refer to situations where someone has made false accusations based on rumor or um, guilt by association. All right, so in 1954, McCarthy's going after the Army officers and others, and, and we have the Army McCarthy hearings that are televised. And these Senate hearings investigated alleged communist influence in the U.S. Army. Um, when the Army's attorney stood up to McCarthy um, at these hearings, McCarthy showed himself to be, um, like most bullies, a liar and um, weak, and not quite uh, the heroic defender of American democracy he had portrayed himself to be. The Senate then voted to censure um, McCarthy or condemn his behavior, and he quickly lost his influence. He's going to be stripped of some of his, um, of his positions of influence and power. Thereby, the Army McCarthy hearings ended the power of Senator Joseph McCarthy. Um, now, a major test of our containment policy is going to come about when, um, in 1950 when communist North Korea invaded non-communist South Korea. Korea had been divided after World War II into two um, spheres of influence, American in the South and communist in the North. All right, um, American milita military forces are going to lead a UN um, coalition. The UN can get involved because the Soviet Union's boycotting it, so they could veto a UN action. So Korea War is a United Nations coalition, um, a counterattack led under the command of General Douglas MacArthur, famous from World War II. All right, drove deep into North Korea himself. MacArthur is eventually going to get fired by Truman because he just doesn't listen. And we'll talk more about MacArthur probably in class. I'm not a huge fan of his, but anyway, he pushes too far and he pushes. The North Koreans way, way back, almost all the way up to the Chinese border. The Chinese see this, and a massive flood of Chinese soldiers come pouring across the border and drive the U.S. way back, and the U.N. forces way back, all right? Um, in 1952, Eisenhower is going to win the election, presidential election, Dwight D. Eisenhower, um, another famous general from World War II. I mean, he promised to go to Korea, and, um, and, and in 1953, he's going to end the Korean War with a stalemate. So South Korea is free of communist occupation. We see this as a success, but Korea was divided on the 38th parallel and is still divided on the 38th parallel line of latitude, with the North being communist and the South being um, democratic and free. All right, um, because we um, had prevented South Korea from falling under communist control, our, the nation's uh, confidence in containment grew and increased, all right? Remember that 38th parallel, all right? Um, 56, I'm going to stop, all right? And I'll pick up with Lecture D in just a second.